Let's go back to Photoshop now. And start to take the same approach with the metal. So all those metal pieces, we're just going to kind of slowly chip away at them. Painting in some detail. So I'll select the color, grab a light version and a dark version. We'll go in and knock the bolts in first. Those bolts are going to be pretty bright. They're sitting out from the surface. Okay. Let's continue to just push these bolts. Push the metal pieces here. Just kind of those scratches and the edges, especially the top edges, especially those, you know, where the lights can get get that object the most. Maybe underneath will give a little bit of a shadow. Let's kind of pop that in. Help define those shadows a little bit more. just pushing more bolts okay keep just kinda pushing the bolts here you could have those be a different hue also if you wanted to that could give you a little more interesting shape maybe the bolts will be a little more blue or maybe the metals a little more blue and the bolts maybe uh, push almost towards a towards an orange or something that that might read kind of nicely but that's again another one of those artistic decisions that uh, uh, you can make on your own just kind of pop this highlight in here even though we're you gonna use a specular map eventually and uh, we're using normal maps and all that stuff. We still want to put in some some sort of color information in here for the diffuse map. It's just something that we should be having. Uh, it'll help us. It'll make our job easier. And it's really just going to make our texture more interesting. Which is kind of the point. Let's go ahead and push these scratches and we'll just keep pushing the scratches dark and light. And I'm really just, we're just going back over each one, making one a little darker, one a little lighter, we're just increasing the contrast here. Let's uh, snap that off here. We'll drop in some scrapes on here. This is the corner supports, vertical corner supports. just put some highlights on here For some reason I think those are upside down but I'm not sure okay we'll drop these on on this piece let's do the uh, just well, let's save this up actually Reload our texture. Okay. Let's change some of our. There we go. Push these a little bit more. Just push the bolts. Kind of everywhere there's the bolts, we're going to go over them, over them just a little bit. And 
we go. We'll paint that in. This video is obviously sped up a little bit. I don't paint that this fast. I wish I did. But a little slower than this. For fear of the video running a, a little bit long, I decided to speed the video up here on the actual painting part. So go ahead and drop in our paint on our highlights here or for these edge highlights here. We'll just help define those metal pieces on the corners and those top edges here. And we'll put the, just really go through and just define the edges across the board with highlights here and even with some shadows from scratches, nicks, all that stuff that go across the edges. It'll just help us help us and help our objects read a little bit better. See we're starting to get more depth to it. Still pretty monotone texture. We'll fix that in a little bit. But for now we're just going to keep uh, chugging ahead with this. Let's drop in these edges here. Looks things are coming together. Let's put these in here. We don't have a ton left to do on these highlights, which is good. With this stuff, uh, consistency is, is really king here. It's having good ideas and then just being consistent across the board on your whole, on your whole texture. Okay, we'll change that to a target. Go ahead and save that up. Go to Maya. Reload. See, things are coming together. Just got to keep pushing these edges here. Okay, we'll push these and these ones here. Okay, let's drop these highlights here. Save it up. And I always like to see what my texture is looking like. So reload it. You can see we had a decent change there. Had a lot more highlights on the edges. Let's do the same thing we did for the metal pieces there. Let's go ahead and do it on the lock. So we'll just kind of push some highlights on the lock real fast, just across the board on, on these uh, pieces, help define the, the shapes and the details in the lock. Maybe the edges a little bit. Just try to have a, a little fun with it and you know, figure out what's going on with this. Sometimes you need to save up and sort of just look at it and see how it's, if it's reading correctly and see, uh, you know, if we select it, kind of one across an edge. So I need to move, uh, I believe it's the right side it needs to be erased and moved in just a smidge. So move that in a little bit more, save it up again and bring it back into Maya. Let's go to Window, Hypershade. And let's reload. 
so that's uh, that's better. Just do some details here on the lip on the the loop part for the lock. Okay. Just kind of pulling back some of that weirdness that we had in the AO map. Smoothing things out a little bit, making things blend in a little bit better. Again, it's it's ultimately just going to help your object read better, which is not a bad thing. That's definitely kind of the point of this. So just make sure you're consistent and whatever you do on one part of this, you do on the other part of this. Put in some highlights here. This is one thing I just wanted to save up and see where the highlights exactly are falling. Okay, they're kind of on the top right there. Looks okay. Go ahead and pick this color, lighten it up. Let's just pop in more highlights here on these surfaces. Save it up and now we got some nice highlights on the, those side pieces. We'll repeat this for the front where kind of the lock is. Okay. 